Beats craze. Thing started uh, when I was when I was here in the Bahamas and I used to go to St. John's College. I tried out for the boys junior junior team and I made the team, but I was one of the smaller kids, so the coach he never really played me. So because I didn't play, most of the bigger kids they started making jokes about me, like uh, the bench one or the Gatorade boy, you know. And every time they said something, that I always stuck in the heart. So. I eventually just stopped on the team. I remember that whole summer. That whole summer I was trading with my, my trader before Jeffrey, that was Q. And 
he was really the first one who told me that he saw potential in me as a basketball player. So that's when he was really like, you know, I could, I could get you to school in the states where, where you could be exposed, you know. So, uh, so eventually I did go off to the states, you know. People still made jokes, said what they had to say about me, but I didn't really care because all that was was fuel to my fire, you know. So uh, a year from that, I transferred to uh, the school I'm at now, Champagnat Catholic. Recently, I tried them for the Bahamas at the 17th national team, and I came like two weeks before the two weeks before the trial. While I was in the airport, actually, the Angelo Baki he messaged me. He was like, "Yo, come down to the Bahamas." the Bahamas National Team tryouts. So while I was training, the head coach wasn't really there. So for the two weeks, the two weeks I was there, um, he was in there watching me and I said, he came on the last day of the day of the cut. So uh, on the day of the cut, you know, the, the other coaches who was there before, they was telling them, you know, before you made this cut, I want you to watch this kid, right? So I tried out, I mean, to this day, I still don't know why I wasn't on that team, why I wasn't back. Uh, I mean, you can really ask anyone who was inside the gym, I really did me. Uh, he showed up, and I guess he didn't want me. And like, I remember when I was leaving, there was this guy at the door. He was like, yo, you just got cut, right? And I said, yeah, I just got cut. He was like, yo, you want me to go talk to the coach for you? I was like, no, it's cool or whatever, you know? Because overlook, being overlook is something that happens all the time for me, you know? And all it really does is that I feel that my fire, you know, I remember, I remember leaving the gym like 10.30 that night. My dad came for me and I was on my way home. And I was like, you know what, dad, don't drop me or drop me at the court, you know? And he was like, before I came at the car, he was like, yo, don't take this thing, don't take this thing to high, you need to feed off this and make, it a, make yourself a better basketball player. So I remember I was on the court until like 12.30 that night. I put up 700 shots, I hit 523 of my shots, you know? And I just, I just remember coming off so angry at myself. I remember reaching over and Corey messaged me. And he was like, uh, don't let, don't take that to heart or whatever. Don't let that bring you down. You said, you said that fuel to your fire, you know? And then that's when I really, that's when I, that's when I recognize, you know, I can't be down on myself because someone picked someone else over me, you know? Just, I just gotta put in that extra work and put in more work than another person to make myself a better basketball player, you know? So I remember, from that day, from that day straight till now, every morning I've been up at ridiculous hours, me and Jeffrey. Me and Jeffrey being here in the gym, just putting up shorts, getting my getting my footwork right, making sure I'm conditioned, you know. So I got a real I got a real big season coming up. Hopefully win two state championships. Cause I got my eleventh and twelfth grade. That's my goal right now to win. At least one before I graduate, you know, because that many behemoths can say that they want a state championship. You know, so that, that's really my goal right now. Yes, you know, trying to stay in the stay in the gym because it's so it's so easy to get distracted. You know, especially in the Bahamas, you got so much kids by age. You know, doing drugs, carrying around guns. You know, catching charges at my age. They can't can't let that stop me from accomplishing my goals. You know, my goals right now is to get a Division One scholarship in the university and hopefully they get to the NBA one day. You know, but. It's, it's, more, it's easy to say that, you know, but it's, it's, it's real hard to accomplish that, and that's just my goal, you know. My name is uh, Coach Jeffrey Enfield. That's when I was finishing intense work with uh, Josh Brennan, yeah. 16 year old, uh, off to school, high school in the States. Has a lot of potential. That's us to keep working. Right? I want him to always work hard, stay focused on what you have to do when you get on a basketball court. Nah, Talking about basketball, we all know school, education that comes first, but basketball side of things, he has a lot of potential as long as he keep working. But basically, yes, work what we did today, we worked on shooting, ball handling, endurance. If you notice, everything we did, we did running, continuous movement, coming off screens, running the half court, coming back, everything hard. Everything intense, all right? Because in the game, when you work out hard, the game becomes easier. And I think he's starting to, to learn that, appreciate that. From the first day to now, he's seeing him, he, he's getting better. He's more focused. He's more intense in the workouts, stuff like that. Uh, I guess wish him luck when he goes off to school. No distractions, keep his head on his body, keep right. Uh, I guess. 
be focused, man. Uh, take care of your school and work, and basketball, and all that other stuff. I'll come later in life, definitely. All right? Get your scholarship, go to college, get your education. Lord willing, you can use a basketball to make yourself some money, play professional, overseas, or the NBA. If it's in his cards, but uh, as long as he keep working, I see, I see a bright future for him. Josh Brennan, all right? I remember the name.